Hello friends, it is Caroline Christensen Travel, an affiliate of Glass Slipper Concierge coming to you live from my kitchen. Uh, so welcome to sweatshirt season in Tennessee. I love it. Um, ready for spring, but you know, it's January, so we'll just be realistic. Um, let's talk about one of the questions that I get asked often, which is a lot about Walt Disney World. Um, just the bare facts and the different parks that are at Walt Disney World. And I thought we would just hop on here, answer some questions, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So 1971 is when Walt Disney opened Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Um, Walt Disney actually did not get to see the completed park. Um, he was very involved in the planning of the parks. Um, but he died a few years before the opening of Walt Disney World. And it was actually his brother, Roy, um, that is the, I don't want to say the mastermind, but he was the one that gave the um, opening day speech at Walt Disney World and a lot of the amazing things that happened to Walt Disney World at this day um, were brought to you by his brother, Roy. Um, so 1971, opening day of Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Um, a couple facts about Walt Disney World. It is the number one visited park in the world. So about, uh, I think it's 58 million annually um, come to Walt Disney World to visit um, during the year. Um, on a daily basis, I think it's between 50 and 55,000 people visit the parks daily. And uh, the most popular park at Walt Disney World is Magic Kingdom. Um, that was the original opening day uh, park with Cinderella's Castle, Main Street USA, um, and then all of the different um, lands, which we'll get to here in a little bit. Um, so there are four parks, main theme parks, not water parks, at Walt Disney World in Florida. The first is Magic Kingdom. And it is going to be your classic Dumbo, uh, Peter Pan. Um, now we've got Snow White. There was another Snow White ride, um, but we can go through that another time. Uh, Jingle Cruise in the beautiful December month, um, which is the Jungle Cruise, which was another opening day attraction. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Splash Mountain, which is being rethemed to Tiana's Bayou Adventure, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, you've got Space Mountain, um, all the classics, um, even the Country Bear Jamboree, which is being reimagined um, as it should be. Um, and we can debate at another time whether or not we think it's time to retire those um, silly old bears. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is Magic Kingdom, which is the number one visited theme park of Walt Disney World. Um, and the second one that opened was um, Epcot, and that was 1982. Um, there, it, it is an acronym, um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go into all of that yet. Um, it is the one that has the big golf ball, as some of my clients call it. Um, but that is Spaceship Earth, and it, there's an actual ride in there. Yes, that is true. Um, and if you hear a little bell, it's my puppy, Maverick. Um, Epcot was more of the edutainment, so education meets entertainment. Uh, growing up, it was my least favorite park. Um, when I was growing up, there were only three parks. Um, we'll get to the fourth here in a little bit. But um, Epcot was always a favorite to adults and um, older kids as a young kid with World Showcase. There wasn't very many rides. Um, did love it. Um, all the different worlds. I love World Showcase. Growing up um, now, I love Epcot. I would say it is, it leans towards my favorite park. Um, I just, I think it's amazing being able to go around World Showcase and see everything. There's more rides, there's more to do. Um, I love the Land Pavilion, Sea Pavilion. Um, I'm not a fan of Mission Space, but you know, there are people out there that that is their thing. And you know what? You live that dream. You go do you, because I, I won't be there, so you can have my spot. Um, 
Yes. So then there was Epcot in, let me just double check, 1982. Yes. Um, and yeah, so I was born in 85 and I grew up going to Magic Kingdom and Epcot. And then um, not too long after that was MGM, which opened in 89, I want to say. Let's see. Am I right? Yep. 1989. Ooh, that was rough finding that. Um, sorry, I have all my dates and my stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, so I loved MGM, but I always grew up loving old Hollywood movies. I loved that time period. I loved um, that whole behind the scenes. Um, they used to have the backlot tour uh, where they actually toured the working studio part with the houses and whatnot. That was just classic MGM, just perfection. Then they opened, you know, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, um, or as everybody calls it, Tower of Terror, um, Indiana Jones, um, that stunt show, it's still perfect. I took my kids to it back in October and it still entertains. Yeah, my kids haven't even seen Indiana Jones and they loved it. It was probably one of my son's favorite things that we did while we were there. Um, but yes, and then in 2008, it was reimagined or rethemed or renamed, however you want to put it, to Hollywood Studios. And so it became more of a showcase for more Disney films, uh, Pixar. Um, now we've got Cars, we've got Hollywood Studios, we've got Toy Story. Um, Sunset Boulevard still big, um, you know, we've got Beauty and the Beast stage show and Galaxy's Edge just opened a few years ago, which is amazing. Um, my favorite ride in all of um, Hollywood Studios has to be Rise of the Resistance. It's just, it's a trackless ride and it's amazing. It's kind of more of an experience than I would say a thrill ride, um, but it's, it's incredible. I, I love it. Every single time. It just, it amazes me what our Imagineers and um, people working at Disney can do. It's just, there's no limit to what they can do. Um, and then the final park opened in 1998 and that was Animal Kingdom. Um, some people call it a glorified zoo, but I also feel like it's a hidden gem. Um, it doesn't get the appreciation um, that it deserves. Um, every year that I go, I appreciate it more and more. Um, I do love the safari. Kilimanjaro Safari is an amazing, incredible, um, another experience. Um, the education side is obviously there um, with animals and conservation, um, environment, all that good stuff that we love. Um, then you also have thrill rides like Everest, and I know Dino Land is kind of going away, um, and I'm excited for all the Indiana Jones um, fun that's going to be coming to the park. Uh, but there's a lot of thrill rides and there's a lot of surprises at um, Animal Kingdom, and I really do think that it's an amazing park. I think it's beautiful. Um, it is the hottest park in all of Walt Disney World in those summer months. Uh, it's very much like Toy Story Land, um, which is the hottest part of um, Hollywood Studios. But yeah, so we've got four amazing, incredible parks, Magic Kingdom, followed by Epcot, and then we've got Hollywood Studios, and as well as Animal Kingdom. So those are the four main theme parks in Walt Disney World. And they are always busy. Even if you go during the slowest time of the year, you're always going to see people. And there's always great tips and tricks that we can share with you about how to navigate the parks. If you work with a glass supper concierge advisor like me, um, I create custom itineraries for my clients that um, kind of dictate my favorite things as well as your goals and aspirations for your trip. Um, we kind of mesh those two together and depending on what you want customized and what you want to do and what you want to focus your time on and your money, that's kind of how we navigate putting that together. So yes, 
the four parks can be a lot. Um, there's a whole lot that goes into a Walt Disney World vacation. Um, it gets more and more intricate each year, but that's what we're here for and we love it. And um, yeah, so that is my Walt Disney World spiel. Um, I love it. I'd love to help you and your friends and family travel party. Um, just would love to give you guys, you know, the trip of a lifetime. It really is. Uh, you know, you're spending and investing in a magical vacation and we want that for you. And that's what we love to deliver on. So that is my Walt Disney World speech. I tried not to go into rides and, you know, focus too much on each individual park. Uh, my next video will be getting specific about Magic Kingdom and all of the different lands and restaurants, quick service, shows, um, parades, cavalcades, um, nightly entertainment, transportation. Um, we'll get into that next time and um, I hope to break this down a little bit more for you guys each time. I try to keep these under, you know, 10 to 15 minutes just so that we can make sure we don't overwhelm you with information because it can be overwhelming, but then that's what you have us for. So I'd love to help you. My email is caroline at glassslipperconcierge.com. You can also follow me on socials, on YouTube, you know, go to my website. Um, I'd love to help you guys. I have a, um, a seasonal newsletter that goes out with different specials that are going on, not just at Walt Disney World, but um, all over the world. So I'd love to help you. Um, Stay in touch and thanks for watching my video. All this time, I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around. All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs.